this is a trip that is out of the whim and this is the first time that I'm going to SoCal using the train system here in California so I don't know what to expect really but all I know is that the train that I'm going to hail here in Oakland is right on time at 7.20 in the morning look at that couldn't ask for a better time really awesome the Jack London Square train station here at Oakland and I'm heading to Pasadena via Bakersfield. I am so excited and I can't wait to show you guys the beauty of SoCal. Here you go. Here is my train going first to Bakersfield. From the train cafe, I was able to buy some pizza right there. That's that's the pepperoni and also hot dogs to get me by. As you can see, it's not in full capacity. This train is so clean. There's my bag, and that's the view from there. I am pretty pumped up while riding this train. It's just so clean. Thank you for riding aboard Amtrak and have a good day. The view from outside is spectacularly beautiful. I'm so ecstatic for what is to come on this trip. And the bus. <laughs> Heading to Pasadena. Too easy. It's gonna be amazing! There's this taco place near the hotel and I have this yummy food. First order of the day though is having churros and that coffee went to the Huntington Garden and then there's this Japanese garden and it's so pretty. Then we have the koi, those bamboos are so pretty too. After the garden, I went on to visit the Huntington Museum or its family house where in there is a wide array of masterfully crafted art pieces from all over the world and the collections are just so opulent and majestic and wonderful. You can see the highlighted art piece in that particular house. I love it so so much. Look at that too. As a book aficionado, seeing the manuscript of Canterbury Tales really thrills me to the bones. How I love to see it in flesh. It's just fantastic. After almost half a day of being in the museum, I went back to the gardens and see these collections of plants from all over the world. It's from Africa, then there's this in Asia. Wow, I am just completely astonished and can't, can't believe I'm really here. The next day, I decided to go on a guided tour around the Hollywood area. for my tour to start. And I'm waiting here at Sunset Boulevard. There's the tour bus. Hollywood. Hollywood was named after the English holly trees from a Dutch settlement in Ohio. The Boulevard. So my first stop is the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And such a good stretch of it's Elton John's star. Good Shazer Gabor, huge spread, all amazing artists here in Hollywood. 
and the world. This is my first stop for my seven hour tour. This is the Chinese, okay. TCL Chinese Theater. How Capitan. There's the Hard Rock Cafe. The Dolby Theater where they do Oscars. American Idol stuff as well. Here you go. Such an array of artists that you could see in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And there's Halle Berry, Jamie Foxx, Steven Spielberg, of course, Robbins, Goldberg. Couldn't you tell how much I adore Daniel Radcliffe, also known as Harry Potter? The vibe here in Hollywood is totally infectious. There's also a stop in one of the most iconic places in Hollywood, which they is have one here between the cars. Hit the jackpot when I visited Santa Monica Pier as part of the tour. It's not that crowded, although this is a very touristy place. I really, really choose a better time. There you go, and obviously I enjoy the amenities that goes with it. How I just love Santa Monica Pier. I love the vibe here too. One for the books too is my visit to the Grove. It has a lot of stores to choose from and enjoy being here too. Right, right now we are here at the Griffith Observatory. Right there. And surprisingly behind me is the Hollywood sign. Isn't it cool? As the observatory is actually closed, I just decided to take some pictures right there outside and the view is beautiful. That's more I could just say. And there's the Hollywood sign for you all. How great it is. And that concludes my seven hour tour. I'm here at Urban Light at LACMA. I'm just waiting for it to dark so I could have a better picture of this awesome Urban Light. Uh, is it cool? See, the Urban Light is not really big or grandiose, but it's Instagrammable and I can see why. I so love it too. And that sums up my travel to SoCal. Bracing and braving to enjoy the sceneries and adventures of life, so be land and sea, my feet being washed by the no. waves. say life is indeed beautiful carpe diem Hi.